one more subject that we will deal is how melody works and how it is connected to the scales and the chords. The first important thing we must remember is that the scale of a musical piece is the path that this piece follows. So, if a piece is written on C major scale, the notes that it will follow are C, D, E, F, G, A and B. Have in mind here that as your knowledge and technique expands, all these rules become more relative and the solution and possibilities become vast. Let's use the basic chords of C major scales. Which are they? First, fourth, and fifth with seven. So, C, F, and G7. C chord consists of C, E, and G notes. How can I make a melody with C chord? Three simple rules. Every note of the chord can also be a melody. We can have C chord with our left hand and play a melody with our right hand with C, E and Z notes. Second rule. When we play a melody with two consecutive notes of the chord, for instance C and E, we can also use the transitive note D. Transitive notes make a melody nicer. So, we have C, D, E, E, F, G, 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 A, B, C. These are some more transitions we can use. The third solution, moving around the note of a chord. C, D, C, C, D, C, or all the way, C, D, C, B, C. We can do these types of moves to make a nice melody. This type of melody always uses the next note of the scale and the note that is a semitone lower. So, if we take the E note, the move around will happen with F note, E, F, E, and the D sharp note, E, D sharp, E. These three melody rules are used to make the simplest melody but also can take us much further to really complicated types of melodies. So let's take it a step further and use the basic chord sequence C, F, G7, C. I will play the sequence twice and we will make our first composition now. Remember, music is also a language, so how two phrases are functioning inside a language? See an example. How is the weather today? The weather is nice. There is a question and an answer to this question. The first phrase, the question, leaves the conversation open and the second, answer, closes the conversation. Let's go to the music language now. The conversation we will make must have similarities for the first and second phrases. How can we achieve this? With the way that notes and values move. Let's go to our example. We have E and G notes and an F note as transition for C chord. We have an F and an A notes and a G as transition to F chord and a G, F, D notes and an E transition for G7 chord. Let's hear it a bit. At last we have the E note, as you saw, at the fourth bar. This is an important issue because a non-tonic note gives us the feeling that we need to hear more. The tonic gives us the feeling of closure. As you can easily notice, the second phrase is almost similar to the first one. And this is what gives us the feeling that we have the right conversation. 
The question and answer we are talking about. The thing that changes our last note is that now is the tonic and closes the piece. You can practice and experiment with the simple melody constructions and also you could take them a step further by moving the melodies to different scales. Let's listen to the small piece. 